Well, since the threat of earthquakes remains a possibility, how would the area's buildings fare? News 10's Rondrell Moore speaks with officials to explain. He joins us live in the studio with more. Rondrell? Patrice, it's pretty hard to imagine a quake the magnitude of the one that hit Japan striking the valley. But experts say that even if a good-sized earthquake did rattle the valley, certain types of buildings would be in trouble. Powerful aftershocks. Government troops are picking through mountains of rubble. You've seen the devastation time and again. Entire cities in Japan leveled by the massive earthquake. So the question remains, what if it happened here? We asked this building inspector. Yeah, I would feel that uh, structurally everything being built in the last five years, maybe ten years, is is being built by code to withstand possibly what could happen in this area. Obviously, no one can be certain, but what about other buildings, ones like these that have been up for decades and longer? So you imagine an earthquake or any kind of a tremor comes through, they're going to be the first things that you're going to see fall and uh, cause you problems with. That could be worrying, especially because there's so many of them around. That's the reason why Reeve says it's best to stay up to date. We have code changes every day and have code meetings at Indianapolis and talk about things like this that happened. And we wanted to make the buildings safer and stand better through something like this that's happening. Now, officials say buildings are built with the potential for earthquakes in mind. However, they maintain severe storms, especially ones that produce tornadoes, remain the greatest threat to area structures. Back to you. Thank you, Rondrell.